From the YouTube though, Drace is weak now up there, there you are, and now, whether you call it daylight saving time or daylight savings time, this guy can help you get through it. <laughs> That's right, it's Ellie Canine You Ha! Welcome to week my update. I am Ellie Canine You with all my guys help us. I have shot my ass hot. It's your this fan, and it's never been with his vigilante videos and things like that. I would say with his animations. The Anthony Pente show with with stuff, with the Clone Wars reviews and whatnot. The Web Designer 18 with his podcast, his rants, his discussions, his Q&As, everything. Lex, you know, he has two channels with, with movies and things like that. Michael's like cast with his uh, Michael uh, show. Emmanuel Gabby with his uh, singing covers and Baby Nam creations with, with his piano playing, stylings. And everything else. This is going to be a good one. Yes. Let me... Alright. Well. Okay. Tonight's topic. Daylight savings time. Adam, you coming? Alright. Now, daylight savings time is coming up. Make sure that you turn your clocks forward an hour. This weekend. Some people say that we shouldn't do that because they say the time was quote unquote supposed to be permanent. But guess what? We can't change it. We need more daylight in the spring. That's right, we need it. Now, here are a few fun facts about daylight savings time. It actually began during World War One. It was popular in the seventies in order to save energy. Now during the during the random energy crisis, and it actually starts at 2 a.m. all the time. Now, and those are interesting facts. Now, study up, you might use those on the game show. That's right, they will come in handy. And speaking of things that are handy, it's time once again for another installment of Rejected Opening Remarks. That's right, these rejected these rejected opening remarks, they are not, well, some of uh, what Adam is about to say you know, are a little loopy. Alright, so please forgive us in advance. At any rate, here we go. Action! Mail! Daylight! Day! Of light in my light of your day. So we have daylight savings time because of World War One. The fuck? The fuck? That's right. Wow, well, I'm not surprised. The fuck me? I'm not surprised. Who the fuck broke this? Bullshit. Hey, you did uh, mention World War One uh, several times back in the Great Cold War. Yes, because I in the Great Cold War. Great Cold War 1945. Back in 66. I've been there! Yes, I should have been there! Oh, the Baron! I killed 20 men back at that war! Did you hear that some people want to want it to disappear? Well, those people haven't slept since 2014. Nah! I don't be I know people who haven't slept since 1994 back in the Great Ocean War of 1845 back in the Great African American China War of 1444 44! <laughs> You haven't slept in the stand. You know why you haven't heard? You haven't heard of that? Because no one's born. No one was just millennia. No one was just decades. No one was just eon. Was born back then. Wow, what? Hey, easy, 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 bro. Oh, all y'all. Anyway, people who think it should dis disappear, shut up. Now you say it's time. Actually, became po popular in the 1970s. Because of the energy cri cri crisis. Where are the lava lamps? Lava lamps, first of all. Where the fuck is that lava lamp? Mm. Yeah, shut up. And so simple. 1970s? I heard that since 1844. Mm. Those jokes bombed. Fuck it. Back to World War One. Going not do fuck.
<laughs> I'm just doing the show. It's time for the top eight list. You ready? But all right, let's do this thing. Welcome back to the top eight side effects of daylight saving time. All right, more sunlight than old than and zero snow days. Number seven, radical waves, dude. Number six, hotter days in April and May. Actually, no, but oh, but. number five, thunderstorms in March. Technically, no. Number four, backseat napping. Number three, 900 kids being flipped at once. Man, shut the fuck up, dumbass. Number two, 45 comedic specials released by Kevin Hart. Comedy specials. And number one, a grasshopper concert featuring 90 juggling monkeys. Nope. We'll be right back after this. Got a lot of stuff to show you. I wish I could hang, guys, but I gotta go hit the book. Aww. <laughs> okay, let's hang. Yeah! It's Nick at night. Makes the world seem bright. So tune it in and keep on watching Nick at <coughs> all night, every night. to shop for carpeting you're in for a shock high prices padding and installation extra six weeks for delivery well you know empire's prices start at only 6.95 a yard including padding and installation and you know we deliver in three to four days and give you a free bissell shampoo with two rooms and if you call now you get a free t-shirt with any order so call empire i bet you know the number too five eight eight two three hundred Empire. We get classier all the time. The starting lineups are on the floor, and here comes Michael Jordan. Taking time out for breakfast at his regular place, McDonald's. Jordan finds the open man. He goes for two and takes possession of a delicious big breakfast and a hot egg McMuffin. Jordan sets. He puts it up, and it's good! Jordan scrambles. He sinks it in again! Can he fit that Egg McMuffin in his game plan? Yes! Michael Jordan has carried it off! There's still plenty of time on the clock. Thank you very much, and welcome back to the show. Now, people always ask me, you know, should we call it daylight saving time or daylight savings time? Well, it depends on uh, the person. Even though both of those uh, terms for the same thing are correct. You know, so, so who really knows? But... I do know that it is time once again for another random report. Alright, boys and uh, the not my flight night players, let's do this thing. Good morning. You can tell the daylight savings time is coming because the birds are returning. Hey Harry, I'm home. Welcome home, Larry. How was your trip? Not bad. The sun could have treated me with more respect though. From somewhere outside the Comedy Central Studios, where the clocks never stop turning. It's the Random Reports, and now, three members of the Clock Club, Michael, Leroy, 
and Marina. Thank you so much. Good morning, and thank you for coming over to Nick at Night at the right time to watch the random report. You know, if clocks could talk, then they'd call me Michael. If the grandfather clock could talk, then he'd call me Leroy. And if Father Time could talk to me right now, then he'd probably call me Marina. A recent letter said that we shouldn't have to change our clocks twice a year, and that we should keep our time zones from changing during the spring. Wait a minute, why would anybody mess with nature? Doesn't daylight saving time relate to the rotation of the Earth? In some ways, yes. However, according to another article, it has nothing to do with the human cycles. Well, at least in Europe. Elsewhere, we exhibit larger and more frequent seasonal deviations. Wait a minute. You're right, Marina. It does have something to do with the rotation of the Earth. Here's a fun fact about daylight saving time. Because of it, the amount of robberies that take place during any given time of the year usually goes down by 27%. That's good news. True. But they're still happening all across the world. Not as often. Well, it is time to get a poetic perspective on daylight savings time as we present to you some more random poetry with Bob Richardson. Daylight savings time is both good and bad. We lose an hour's sleep this weekend. That's pretty sad. By the fall, we get that hour back. That was certain we get all of us on track. So come on, let's just leave daylight savings time alone. It's spring for goodness sake. Just throw us a bone. Don't you just hate losing an hour of sleep during daylight saving time, Bob? Yeah, but luckily, we'll get it back in November. Yes, and all of us need to get some sleep. That's right, and like a wise man once said, only to bed, only to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Wait, wasn't that man Benjamin Franklin? The guy who discovered electricity? Yep. Well, that's neither here nor there. And that's it, we're done. For the random report, I'm Dave Passions. I'm the odd man. I am Greg Stevenson. I'm Bob Richardson. I'm Michael. I'm Leroy. I'm Marina. And I'm Craig Knightley. Good night, good morning, and keep running away from thunder. You don't want to get zapped. This has been the Random Reports. Now back to Weeknight Update's Daylight Saving Time special. Then stay tuned for the wee hours with Craig Knightley and Joanne, however you pronounce that, explanation of Daylight Saving Time. Hey, it's almost three in the morning. What do you expect? That's all coming up next on Nick at Night. Uh... Odd man, how many times do we have to go through this? The show's over. Oh yeah, kick it! Come on everybody, the time is right. We're gonna show you how to pick that night. Just click on, twist that dial, and Nick pick night. Ah yes. Thank you very much. That was Michael, Marina, Leroy, and the other uh, boys. With the random report. Yes. I gotta tell you something, those are the best uh, staff members working on a random late night uh, talk show you know, anywhere uh, in the world, and my goodness gracious, that's saying something. It's time once again for Let's Talk About Flash Talking Time. Let's do this thing. Let's talk about it. Okay. It is that time again. Adam, please report. When you have vowels and consonants, you get Actually, words. Actually! Because they are I letters. Food. Food. F-O-O-D. Food. 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 Give me apple. A-P-P-L-E. A P P L E F O O D. If you have four and five, four plus five is nine. Nine. And where's nine minus one is eight? And where's eight? Oh, eight. Guess what? Talking the time. after morning, noon, night, day. And it's eighteen oh four B B B C. And that's before, before your common era. Do you know what time it is? 
Talking to them again. Doctor! Doctor! We are like that! We are like that! Doctor! 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 Welcome back, Walt! You've got me! You've got me! You're gonna talk about Dr. Tar! Cause you got to talk while we're talking about our time! Anybody likes a, a, anybody has a, a theme song? Uh, you know, if anybody can do the theme song for this while we're coming up with an intro, that would really help us out. Anyway, bet y'all won't. You know, this Sunday is Daylight Savings. Will be the beginning of Daylight Savings time. Alright. Now, people say daylight saving time, other people say daylight savings time. You know, which is right? You know, that is an age old question that we never got. Day save time. Yeah, that's it. Well, anyway, it says here that we should keep uh, standard time. Because we should not have to uh, change our clocks twice a year. Now, wait a minute. Here is the thing. Right? Mm -hmm. 3 out of 10 prefer to stay on that savings time. 4 out of 10 want a permanent to stand up time. What happened to the other 3? They went to China! Now, anyway, Hawaii and most of Arizona have permanent standard time. And I'm like, really? When did they get away? With, when did they get away with uh, fooling around with uh, Mother Nature? You wanna know why? Because, I'll tell you something, the reason why we have that saving time in the first place is because, you know what, it's because of the fact that we're going to have extra sunlight. You know, because it's getting warmer uh, here, in, uh, here where we live and uh, pretty much everywhere in the United States, right? So, yeah. wait, so, what's the question here? You know what, should, you know, this, uh, this person who wrote uh, this letter asked if we should uh, keep uh, that savings time or st or go back to going to standard time. Okay. What do you think? Um, I'm used to the like, savings time, well, so... Not having it wouldn't will, will, will change much, so I could care less. Yeah, but how will we know that we're going to have extra sunlight in the spring? We don't need it. We all, it's always there. Okay. Meanwhile, it says here that daylight savings time does not misalign human cycles. You know, this is really weird, okay? This is according to a a report done by Scientific Reports, mm -hmm. right? You know, which is an which is an which is an open access peer reviewed scientific journal from Springer Nature Publishing Group. Yes. Right. And it says you know uh, the human cycles you know uh, can be found. Uh, uh, it says that we have uh, the sleep-wake uh, cycle and the labor uh, cycle, you know. But they say that because of that saving sign, none of them is found to exhibit significant seasonal deviations in the weekdays. This is the major unnoticed outcome of the seasonal uh, regulation of clocks. Yes. After continued predictable seasonal clock changing arrangements, virtually nobody delays their activities in in summer or advances it in winter, signaling it, I mean, signaling the acceptance of the practice in modern societies. Alright. Interesting, isn't it? This is awesome bullshit. You know, I don't think they should change the time then your work, because you see, I'll be fine if people didn't have to go to work at, at, at specific times. But, but because people do, it's weird. Cause now, they, their body is like, okay, oh, oh, okay, I feel that in six, when it could be seven. And it's like, okay, shit, I need to go faster, because now I'm late for work. Maybe they wake up too early, and then they have to 
didn't change, although they don't really have to change. Because how they woke up early is how they're, they're going to have to wake up when a couple months later for, 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 for spring. So I think we shouldn't, ch we shouldn't change it. We shouldn't have this shit. Only because it could fuck up with, with people's jobs. Although it hasn't to a degree, it's still a slight fuck up. Okay, now you think it... <coughs> Excuse me, now... Now, while people think that uh, that's messed up, listen to this, okay? Mm -hmm. Remember Benjamin Franklin? Right? Yeah. Now, in 70 day 4, he was half joking when he suggested daylight savings time, right? He argued in 1784 that all the difficulty will be in the first two or three days, after which the reformation will be as natural and easy as the present irregularity. Oblige a man to rise at four in the morning, and it's more than probable he will go willingly to bed at eight in the evening, and having had eight hours of sleep, he will rise more willingly at four in the morning following. Yes. Now, and he picked the idea as a money saver, though at the time people would have been conserving candle wax rather than electricity. To enforce the out there plan, Franklin suggested taxing shutters, rattling candles, banning non emergency cox travel after dark, and firing cannons at sunrise to rouse late sleepers. Okay. That's strange. Yeah, but at the same time, he was poking the French for being lazy. He was poking his French for being lazy. But so, what is this? What is this trying to say? In other words, the guy who uh, gave us electricity was the guy who was uh, poking fun at the French for being lazy and for not getting up uh, early enough. Okay. And. And you were uh, confused about uh, World War One, right? I Pushing daylight savings time into uh, law. We were talking about this earlier this week. You know, uh, you know, uh, not in front of the cameras, but you know what I mean, right? Anyway, 1916, right? Germany became the first country to officially adopt daylight savings time. It was born out of an effort to conserve coal during World War One, and in Britain, along with many other European nations. You know, they were real quick to fight. Um, yeah, and, uh, you know, they were quick to follow uh, the Germans lead, but the U.S. Uh, didn't uh, start doing that until 1918. Now, a year after entering the war, America began practicing the daylight savings time as an electricity saving measure, which of course became uh, more popular during the energy crisis in the 1970s. I don't understand this. There's too much time for me. There's too much whatever effort for me. Life is supposed to be here. So, so, time is good. What? So yeah. they have time saved to make people think they should go to bed er, er, earlier in. For this is the past to go to bed. Uh, earlier, so, so they don't wake up late for their job. Okay, that's what I think we're leaving. Alright, folks. That is it for the shenanigans for the night. I thanks everybody who was involved in uh, the sketch and things like that. You know, uh, stay tuned for the editing experiment coming up uh, right now with, with some help from Web Designer 18 and the Anthony Pen. Show. That's right. They actually helped me out uh, with the experiment. They actually helped me and Adam out with the experiment. Right? So definitely give them some love after this show is done and after the experiment is over. And we'll see you folks on Monday. That's the news. I'm out. Skis. Bye 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 bye. Have a good weekend. It's Friday night. You're watching this show. That can only mean it's time for one thing the ending experiments. Okay, this experiment has some things that might make you lose your mind. If that is the case, then please forgive us. Alright? Also, thank you for sticking around 
We'll see in the ending experiment. All right, web designer 18. Again, thank you for the uh, intro. Enjoy this experiment and everything else. And we'll see you on Monday. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again for a musical montage. First, a piano presentation or, or piano cover of the Ren and Stimpy show theme song. And then, a little something extra on the saxophone for Adam. All right, here we go. good saxophone player I'm off training the, the only way a good saxophone knows 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 how So this weekend, we lose an hour of sleep. I think that's crazy. It's absolutely insane. Like, what's going to happen in the world of music? Are we going to get a song called Mud? I don't know. Anyways, like, I mean, at least it's good because it's spring and we'll get more daylight. But never mind that. Never mind that. The segment's over. Well, in that case, um, please go to bed. It's kind of laid out. I'll see you guys later. This has been Random Thoughts with George Thompson. There you go. Back from the Great Ocean War of 1444. Welcome back to Daylight Saving. Today we have timed advice. After losing a, an hour of sleep this weekend, it's had it's bad 
to push someone off the cliff on Monday. No shit! If you push them off the cliff, they're dead! Anyway, we only have to go through this until November. Stop crying. Fuck you, me till November! Stupid as a. That's fucking what you call a tab! They like savings time. That's they like regress time! Because now we're going forward. November, we go back! It has nothing to do with the human cycles. So wake up and know the truth. What the fuck is a human cycle? You mean a freaking human is, is a fucking centipede now? Is a fucking cat gets a copter? It first it's a copter, and then it goes to a fucking a, a crazy crazy cr crazy license. And then it goes to a fucking butterfly. You mean a fucking human can turn to a butterfly now? Fuck is a human cycle? Wait no insect. Wait no egg. Are we done? Yes. We ain't no insect. Period. Words that can be used to describe daylight savings time. Mm -hmm. Now, all of these words uh, were compiled uh, based on what other people have experienced over the past 15 okay. or 20 years. Here we go. Strange, normal, nocturnal, goofy, weird, and kooky. And if anybody is uh, watching Nick at Night right now, then <laughs> we appreciate your uh, cooperation. Here we go. Welcome to Bullshit Inc. Today I'm bullshitting. Bullshit Inc. We have, we have episode bullshitting with saving time. One guy tried to turn his black his clock. Turn back his clock. Okay, shut I'm turning uh, his clock up. forward. Some guy tried to turn his clock forward in, in our last ma march. Or so, 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 so. But he actually end, end up in in a hole. People were stomping on his back. For an entire year, he was living in a hole. He didn't know why until he met a, a mole. That mole told, told him that his clock had a put me in a hole button. That screwed him up because he pressed it. Shut the fuck up! I'm done. Okay, things to expect after that saving time begins. Baby fish, spring selfies, funny jokes, egg burgers, barbecues, good YouTube content. What? What? what, 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 what well, what, what, this list came from TMZ, so I don't know. On your chin. What do we learn this time? Well, we learned a day at savings time measures with your sleep. And last year, it actually gave us warmer weather. Okay. Day at savings time can really take a lot of energy away from you. And George Thompson is an odd character. You probably uh, saw him during this experiment. Now, it's 3 a.m. Get some sleep. Understandable. How about some Nick at Night to make you feel better? Nick at Night. All night, every night. Good TV for your appetite.